Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. Uh, this is a shorter review style video of my Misa mentored residency that I attended in July of 2023. So I am leaving from the lower mainland of Vancouver and taking the ferry over to Vancouver Island, uh, getting off at Nanaimo. And then I drove down, it's about an hour and 15 minutes or so to Seanigan Lake from there. This is a mentored residency. There's lots of different types of residencies. I'm not going to get into them all here, but mentored basically means that there is an artist who is leading a group, a cohort of other artists, and by that, um, offering critique, offering um, guidance, um, suggestions for your work, and kind of facilitating a, the group and creating a kind of sense of of um, connection between the artists. This is the building that our residency was held in. This is the theater at Shanigan Lake School. And it's, the grounds are abso absolutely stunning. This is Shanigan Lake proper. Uh, so this is a quite large lake with lots of different access points all the way around, but this is the access, access point for the school. And it's a very lovely space. The atmosphere itself was very relaxing, very retreat-like. And um, the studio inside uh, was a theater space. And so it's a very large room uh, with lots of natural light on one end. Not as much natural light on the other. But luckily, their lights were bright enough on the other end, that, um, which is where my studio space was located, that I found... Uh, I, I didn't lack in natural light. I'm kind of a fussy person around light. So you see here entering the space, how large it is. Um, and then it has that kind of uh, dense theater floor that doesn't make a lot of noise. And so the noise transfer in the space was actually not significant. Um, you could feel very quiet and very, um, alone in a way in your space even though it's this big open space and nine of us were sharing it um and so i'm really i think that the space itself was was quite good it was also air conditioned inside which was nice because it was quite warm on several of the days so i always actually i was sitting near the vent um we're coming up here onto my studio studio corner and uh so i was always at a very good temperature i was never overheating in this space which uh, i'm really grateful for so the grounds are, yeah, just absolutely stunning. Um, you can see here there is uh, architecture from the early 20th century. Um, there is this lovely lake uh, with lots of lily pads, lots of bird life. Um, there's, I actually didn't even fully go to all the areas I could have walked to. Um, it's, it's a very large campus uh, with lots of trails, and I just didn't get to that part even though I plan to um, during the residency. They have this interesting dome where they grow vegetables. Um, they have a, a whole like a library and like uh, spaces to hang out in and a huge cafeteria. The food was quite good um, I thought especially because you didn't have to make it yourself. There were varying other opinions um, from other people around certain meals and certain dishes but you can see the gardens were just absolutely stunning. So overall I would say there was a lot of quite a bit of variety in what we were able to eat and um, you know not having to cook for a week is luxurious to me regardless of whether or not the food is the same quality as um it would be in a restaurant or something like that i don't i don't know it was a cafeteria so if you think about cafeterias and being at university or it's at a boarding school that is the level of the food so making work um i found it quite a productive space i was able to do a lot in this space i worked quite uh, prolifically for the first three to four days, I would say. Um, and I was working on uh, a textile piece using um, a artist transfer paper. Um, so I would draw on the paper with a black 
pen and then I would iron transfer that onto fabric. Um, and so I then I moved on to doing some embroidery by nearing the end of the week because I found that my stamina for the drawing and my ideas for the drawing uh, were starting to get a little bit muddled <laughs> and I was fatigued because I'd never had that kind of consistent amount of time to work like that before. And you actually need quite a bit of stamina to make it through. And even though I tried to pace myself and I tried to go and do other things and take walks and go swimming and do other things, not just make work, I still got very tired near the end. So think about that when you're considering your residency, um, how much stamina you have. Also, obviously, in a space like this, you're sharing the space with the people. And luckily for us, we all got along so well in this group. It was kind of a magical um, serendipitous type of connection that we all had. And so we all were able to coexist in this space very, very comfortably. And I don't think that's necessarily the case for everybody. So this is a beautiful river that I went to several times to go swimming with, um, one of the other members of the cohort. She was a local and took us to this river. Um, I think that the overall experience of this was just beyond what I could have hoped for. Um, I found the experience. We had dance parties in the studio. We would chat at the end of each day. We did group critiques of work. Uh, we did some little lessons that uh, Renee, our mentor, had prepared, talking about different pieces, different artists, different techniques. Um, we just were able to really connect and fully embrace this chance to work so exclusively. We also attended some of the social events that were held by the organization, MISA, Machosan International Summer School of the Arts. Um, and uh, you can see it's just, it was a lovely, lovely experience overall. Um, I think there's always a few little glitches here and there in the overall um, way things are run in terms of, you know, the programs or the administration of those. But for me, it was a really positive experience overall. And um, this is me waiting to get back on the ferry to head home. And so I really think that it's a great experience. And I'm so grateful that I was able to have it with these people. And uh, if you would like to know more and see the whole experience, you can check out my July studio vlog for the all the details and all the thoughts along the way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again soon with another video.